One of the most talked about areas in consumer electronics these days is the connected car, or how we bring our most useful and entertaining technology into the automobile. Because of long lead times in the design and manufacturing process, the trend here is moving away from automakers providing the apps and toward third-party fulfillment. Ford and now General Motors have opened up their platforms to outside developers. Another trend in this area allows Apple or Android smartphone integration so you can see apps such as Pandora and Waze showing up on your in-car screen, like this one from Pioneer's App Radio 3. Trend number two is fashion wear, where high tech meets high fashion. This may be the strangest runway show you'll ever see, featuring everything from a dress that lights up more brightly the louder the ambient noise, to a clutch that opens up into a high fidelity Bluetooth speaker. But rest assured, much of the wearable technology has more practical uses. How about a smartwatch that's Bluetooth connected to your phone or tablet, or can alert you to incoming calls and messages and play music? or a cane that provides self-propulsive walking assistance as well as providing location and progress data. Some of the most popular wearable technology these days transitions nicely into our third trend, digital health. The wearable stuff includes sensors such as wristbands that can track and monitor exercise, heartbeat, and sleep activity. There are also apps aplenty and much more in this wide-ranging and important area. The tech industry is also high on second screen technology. That's when one screen can supplement and interact with another, such as your television. One example is the Watch ESPN smartphone app. Its live toolbar lets you dig into stats and into deeper analysis of the events you're watching. And finally, Ultra HD continues to be a big buzzword despite the current high costs, lack of programming, and the size of screen necessary to even perceive the added resolution which is four times that of 1080p. But a lot of things are coming together. If you think about what's happening in your average movie theater, many of those are Ultra HD, 4K theaters. So you're already watching content in Ultra HD when you go to the theater. A lot of that content's available. Now they're starting to make it available for a home entertainment experience. So a lot of the pieces are coming together. It'll take a while for those pieces to come together, several years, of, of course. I'll have much more on all these technologies in the days to come. Reporting from CE Week in New York City, I'm Motley Fool Analyst Rex Moore.